Hey everybody, Nolan here, another plant talk. Today we're talking about the black walnut tree, also known as Juglans nigra. So we have a medium sized one here um, and you can really see the bark well here. So black walnut, they have um, this high ridged bark and it kind of winds around a whole bunch. And a lot of the time people say you can find diamonds, so you kind of have like a weird diamond there. Um, I don't really think of the diamonds, I just think of the, the high ridges. Um, there are some other trees that have very similar bark to this, but overall it's the most common one with this kind of bark on it. Now it is a deciduous tree native to southern Ontario all the way down to northern Florida. So you can see leaves on this one starting to get a little yellow, dropping. Uh, there are a lot of other black walnuts in the background you can probably see here. That's a huge one over there. Um, it, and the wood is easily worked, so it becomes an important commercial tree. And then the nuts can be used as food. So here we kind of have one of the nuts on the ground. So it's starting to lose its green. Uh, it is a little dirty and it's starting to crack there. So actually inside we have the black walnut itself. We can try to open. So you can see you actually have the walnut in there. Now this tree is a little pathic, which means it releases chemicals from its roots that can harm other organisms. So um, you have a couple very large ones. You don't have too many other large trees. You have a couple black locust trees. Um, but besides that, all the big trees in this area really are black walnut. So even that entire side over there, um, it really whittles them down. Now these trees can live about 130 years. Um, so we have a very, very, very large one over there. Uh, a lot of times they'll grow super, super big and they'll have these really big wide canopies that kind of overreach. This one's on his way there. Compared to other trees, um, this tree grows its leaves in the spring very late. So you can see it has leaflets similar to like a ash tree, um, but it grows them very, very late and it loses them very, very early into the fall. So right now it's starting to change color and it's only like mid-September. And now this tree is shade intolerant. So it's nice when they're big like this because they can get up to the shade. Um, but if we look across the way, we can see that they're very, very top narrow. Um, just trying to kind of get whatever shade they can, focus up top. It also has a very strong taproot, which makes it really hard to transfer these trees. Now the populations are increasing um, due to other trees in their natural ranges um, being decimated by stuff like pests and diseases. So for instance, like ash trees uh, being decimated, stuff like that. Now, um, for food, it can be used in ice creams, baked goods, salads, meat dishes. Um, and the actual tree itself, you can tap for sap in the spring. And it tastes relatively similar to sugar maple uh, sap. And then it's also used for dyes. Uh, the walnuts can be used as an abrasive cleaner. Obviously the tree is used for wood. And then these nuts, they drop in the fall. So they're starting to drop. Um, you'll find a lot of the more mature trees still have quite a bit of nuts on them. But for these young ones, it is all gone. But yeah, that has been the black walnut tree. You'll see them all over the Carolinian forest. That's it for me.